What is up everybody? This is CEO in you. Welcome back to my channel. So, you guys favorite TikTok series. If you scroll down TikTok, uh, there is always an item that says this makes you glass skin. All the Korean people are using this. Really? I'm, I'm Korean. I do the beauty for more than 10 years and nobody knows that product. I'm a professional makeup artist, but at the same time, I'm a professional buyer. Oops, I bought it again. <laughs> Viral TikTok skincare, which is all hyped and everywhere. You guys don't have to buy it because I bought it and then I take my money and then I use it. I reviewed it for you guys. So TikTok skincare, is it worth the coin? Let's get started. So I'm gonna start it from the Medicubo Jelly Cream. It looks like a yum yum jelly. But the thing is, whenever I have a dry skin, but whenever I put it on my skin, literally feels like you put the honey on the skin. So sticky and it doesn't absorb well. The formulation is this heavy, but it is not effective enough to change the skin. Can use only at night because of the texture. No for oily combo skin, for very dry skin in winter, only those who don't toast and turn too much in their sleep. Because after you apply this for an hour, it still feels like a honey, very sticky. So it can be all over the pillow. No, no, no. The Medicube Wrapping Mask. Of course, after wipe it out, skin feels a lot better, like more bouncy and much more hydrated. But I think I'm not going to use it anymore because it's like too long. It's not worth that much effort. So, and whenever you apply it, it's too sticky and it's too watery. So you're just gonna use the finger, but it's all over. And after 20 minutes, it just peels. So that's another like trash. After like 20 minutes before I go to bed, still I just wanted to get rid of it. It still feels stuffy and feels like a drying out. And then in the morning, whenever you like, like get rid of it, it doesn't work well. So I think they kind of, Wanted to make the hype just like a Biodance overnight mask, but this one literally failed because mask easy to wipe it out because it's just like a you know rice paper like wipe it out. But this one like here 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 and then like I ended up like oh my god this is too annoying so I just wash it out. What's the point? I just put it overnight. I'm just washing off this like where are these collagen going? Of course hydrating, but I think the procedure too long. I would rather do the overnight mask. I tried it other line with their collagen line, but I think Medicube Collagen Serum, that was good. So, but this pass. Next, two rice toners, Beauty of Joseon versus I'm From. After I tried it this one half and half, this win, this win, uh, definitely worth the hype. You guys are great, but this one, I don't think so. Make sure to shake before applying both. At the last review, I said I'm from Rice Toner. It's less absorbent and less moisturizing than Famous. But when I applied it half and half, it lasted well even a few minutes after applying it. Sure, but this one just like gone. And then I just checked it out the manual later. It's actually for the oily skin. But still, whenever I thought about the Anua Toner, that really watery toner, but makes it hydration. But this one, it feels like more drying out. Also the scent. Some people say it was okay, but for me, it feels too artificial. It's, I think rice is much more like a uh, hot for the foreigners, but Korean people, it's just like rice, what? It's too, like, you know, too familiar. But I'll just gonna review three serums. So I'll start it from the Beauty of Joseon. So the most popular one was a Propolis. So I reviewed this one was like, okay, sign. This is like a rice uh, serum. So this one also got it hype, hyped it. But this serum, I don't think so. It's like very lightweight and absorbs well, but it didn't do anything on my skin. So no fragrance. It's just okay, uh, but that's it. But you gotta do something else. It's too pricey if you think about like this little amount because you cannot see the effect about only using this one. I think Beauty of Juice are the best product ever is their sunscreen. So go with that. Pass. Curito, I feel this is a lot more popular on TikTok and like a global 
not in Korea, it's okay for especially for the oily skin. They have a centella. So centella definitely has a soothing effect. So if you're oily skin and as a mini breaks out and then really sensitive, try this one. The texture is like really light. So it's just like a little light gel. For the dry skin for myself, it just feels like too light. So I just use it like a toner. So whenever I skin, my skin become a little like a too like red, this one makes it definitely cool down. Tiru Tiru SOS Serum. So I expected a lot more to Tiru Tiru because I love their toner because it was like amazing for dry skin. Not that bad, but I won't use that much money to buy this one. Globally, the price was okay, but glue up. Uh, in here in Korea, Tiru Tiru is like not that affordable. I don't agree with the name as a SOS Serum because SOS Serum has to be done something good whenever your skin is like a little angry, too red. But I think in that way, the Purito Serum would be better. This is just like a bit little sticky, just normal serum for the dry skin. So if you are more like a combination skin or oily skin, you can feel this is definitely more like a too sticky. It's okay, but I won't buy again. Next, our review three sunstick. So many people says like they are applying sunstick after makeup. Oh no! <laughs> Please don't do that because basically this is also oil based sunscreen. So if that mix with a foundation and concealer, it's gonna be a disaster. Put your skincare and then put the sunstick and then move on to your makeup stick. Or if you just wanted to apply, reapply the sunscreen, I just highly recommend to like wipe it off some makeup and then put the sunscreen or sun stick and then do the little foundation again. That would be the best. But if you're basically putting sun stick after you do the skincare, so if something peels, sun, it's sun stick's fault or maybe the skincare combination isn't that good. So I prepared three sunstick, three sunstick. These three sunsticks are all chemical sun sunscreen. If you have a really sensitive skin, it can sting your eyes. And I see some of the reviews saying that one. So actually, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the sunstick because you cannot really apply hair, hair, hair. Well, you cannot really see if it's applying or not. Sunstick. I started talk influenced by TikTok, but some part. It's very useful. First, Beauty of Joseon Sunstick. This is for oily skin. For me, it was like soap. So hard that my face turned red when I applied it. Many folks are saying that skincare peels and it's because it's too hard to rub it. Doesn't smell mugwort at all. The most matte out of the three. After applying it, it feels like something there, but a few minutes later, it barely feels. You may like the matte finish if you're oily skin, but I don't recommend it because it's too hard to apply. This is my least favorite. Pass. Next, Abibu Sunstick. The middle one, best out of the three. The largest and little arch. So actually really easy to rub it. Just few touches, you can full cover. So it's like more convenient. I feel it's more advanced version because it's the most recent one. Amazing for dry skin because it applies very smoothly, but oily skin may feel too sticky. But if you're dry skin, mature skin, you will love this. The last one is gonna be the Tokubo Sunstick, which is this blue one. And this is actually Olivia number one sunstick. Literally middle of the beauty of Joseon and Abib. Texture is in the middle of the first two products, but the finish is matte. So it's more like beauty of Joseon. It's softer when applied. Recommended for oily and combo skin. Dry skin is a bit dry to apply to the face. Definitely sunstick works so well at like here. Hair, hair. If you have like a short hair and ponytail, it's gonna be all tend there. Too much work to use like sunscreen, but this one like so easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, you can put it everywhere, and when you like short sleeves, body so easy. The last one for this series is actually this one CMP Lip Serene. You will see like the similar container with a, this kind of lip mask. This is the brand called Freshen Beyond. Uh, and there are a few more. They make like all same container. These other products are for under LG cosmetics. So I, uh, they have the money and the technology to make this amazing container. So you can just pick one. Mm, like, a, like if you like uh, squeeze it, it just comes out. 
I feel a little lighter than that like a uh, Lana's lip mask but totally works well uh, it's really hygiene because Lana's lip mask is just open and it's, you, like whenever you open you see all the ingredients this one you just open it and use it once and then easy to easy peasy to carry everywhere so amazing but I cannot see how much it left so that's a little that's a little sad where's the hype how was it do you guys enjoy it uh, so this is actually the TikTok skincare like part five. Thank you so much, you guys. I can make five videos because you guys love this so much. Anything wanted to see, just put it at the comment. Also the makeup products as well. At the end of August, the weather like a sauna has finally gotten a little cooler. In the evening, my husband and I go out to the Han River to exercise. Many people walk or run like us and many people eat chicken or ramen. I love that there is such a beautiful big river in the middle of the Seoul. It's a hassle to go out but can't be that happy after exercising hard and taking a shower. You know what? Everything amazing are all free. If you're in Seoul, please don't forget to visit Han River. Thank you so much for coming this time too. I'll see you guys in next week. Okay, bye!